Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for <laughs> a general love reading. Ooh. So, Scorpio, we're tapping into the energy of the person that is in love with your baby. This is a general, however, so it's not going to resonate for every beautiful, amazing Scorpios. I've also uploaded a water sign video for Cancer, Scorpios, and Pisces. So, you know, you, those energies, they're, they're, they're so they're similar. So I just decided to do that to save me a little time, okay? But for you, though, like I said, it's the person in love with you. I ain't tapped into the person in love with you for a while. But this is all of their energy. This is how they feel about you Scorpio baby. Okay. For some of you guys, it could be a Gemini. You have the lover's card followed by the queen of Pentacles. I've been seeing the queen of Pentacles up a lot for you. So it could be representing that somebody looks at you like you are stable, you are marriage material, but the fun and it got serious. It just got real. Somebody could be looking at you like you're prioritizing. You're putting your, your career, your business before them. And now look, king of cups, Remember, this is the person that's in love with you. You got the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. This Six of Pentacles is underneath this Queen of Pentacles. So somebody said that you're giving your time and space somewhere else and someone's not able to move on. Maybe it's because they wasn't looking for a relationship. But something got them about to make haste here. Could be a Sagittarius. See, somebody want those cups to come back together because something was not fair. Is this what they're realizing here? Could be a Libra because I feel like y'all, for some of y'all Scorpios, based on these cards, and remember, this is this is the person that's in love with you. This is how they're viewing it. Once again, since we have the King of Cups instead of the Queen of Cups. And yes, I go there. I, I have a certain way that I identify with the cards. Everybody do it their own way. But I see you as the queen of pentacles. Um, somebody feels like you are the one for them. They feel a strong attraction to you. Scorpio, this person is in love with you. Maybe this person didn't want to give. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you had to make yourself a priority in order for them to understand that they didn't. All right. That's what I see. That's what that's it. That's it, you know, because they in love. Now I feel like somebody wanted back. So you could be dealing with air energy with the Knight of Swords and the Lovers. Um, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn with the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Six of Pentacles in the reverse or the Queen of Pentacles in the upright. Uh, so you have the King of Cups. You have the chariot in the reverse and you have the three of cups in the reverse. You have temperance in the upright Sagittarius energy. So someone is trying to remain calm. That's what I feel like. Somebody's trying to keep the peace in their life, but all they want to do is to rush in. But someone could be feeling like it, you know, why would I rush in when I already know that I wasn't participating. So it could be somebody realizing that maybe you're not, once again, maybe maybe you don't want to do what they used to do. Maybe you don't want to hang out as friends because in the Queen of Pentacles, the uh, Scorpio got way much more on their mind than to have a couple of drinks and the lolly, lolly, la, uh, whopping it all over the place, uh, line dancing and, you know, <laughs> yeah, Scorpio is looking, look, looking for the long term here as this Queen of Pentacles and with the King of Pentacles in the reverse. <clears throat> I just feel like somebody wasn't somebody wasn't into that. OK, you may have gotten too serious for this person. But now I feel like this person is seeing you as somebody here. But it could be somebody here that uh, is feeling neglected here now that uh, you have made something else. You're focused and you're not focusing on them. So let's see why is the lovers here for the person that is in love with Scorpio. What's going on with the person in love with Scorpio with this lovers Gemini energy? Why is the lovers here? The Hierophant, some type of relationship here. Six of Pentacles in the reverse, nine of Pentacles in the reverse, and the five of wands. So I feel like this person's having a lot of conflict because of what they chose. Now, it could also represent this person may have had people after them, but 
somebody wasn't given to nobody. It could have been a one-sided situation because there was just too many people interfering. Could have been in, inter, in, internal feelings, interference here too. They go to seven of souls. Or somebody here, maybe somebody had other situations. Maybe somebody wanted to be free to go out and live their life, but maybe they wanted to keep you hanging on. So why is the lovers here for the person in love with Scorpio with the higher fence? Ooh, you got Gemini. Hold on, y'all. Okay. You have Gemini and uh, Taurus. The lovers and the higher... Oh, snap. There they go again. King of Cups. Stand on my foot. See there? Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces here. Somebody thinking about how much they love you? Hmm? Or somebody's trying to follow their heart. It could be somebody's... It could be that the person that's in love with you had another situation and they may be trying to follow their heart because you got the King of Cups here twice. So what's going on with the, this person that is in love with Scorpio, uh, with the lovers, the Hierophant and the King of Cups? What's really going on? Mm. Ace of Wands. So they are extremely attracted to you, too. And whoever this person is that's in love with you, Scorpio, they watch you. I feel like somebody is extremely attracted to you. See, this is how they see you, beautiful. But somebody feels like you're not giving them no more of your time no more. See, page of swords. Yeah, they keep in tabs. The person could be watching your old photos with the queen of wands. But for some of y'all, y'all y'all done got serious with this person here. Or you've made other things your priority. Or maybe this is how they're finally seeing you as someone here who, let's see, let's, 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 why is the King of Pentacles in the reverse for the person that is in love with Scorpio? Could be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Why is the King of Pentacles in the reverse for the person in love with Scorpio? Mm. Two of Cups, ain't that something? So see there, you... <laughs> So what I feel like here is that the, your soul may here was either toxic or they was not ready to settle down. Could have been somebody here who was all about money. The image. With this temperance card, I feel like someone here needed to balance things out. See, to go to two of pentacles, somebody was all about their money. I feel like somebody didn't have time for all that lovey-dovey stuff, Scorpio, and that two of cups. Somebody said, God damn, you want love, baby? I'm trying to make money here. For some of y'all, this person's going to surprise y'all. I'm just saying, whether you care or not, I'm just telling with this card. So it could be done with the Aries or another Scorpio. For some of y'all, too, Scorpios, when y'all have problems with this person, whoever your soulmate is, they have problems on... It's almost like it's you are a distraction to someone because you may be focusing on yourself, especially as this queen of Pentacles. If that is you, if you ain't got no third party stuff going on here, but they're not, they're not able to concentrate like you probably are. Cause for some of y'all in this queen of Pentacles, you may be going out in nature. You may be really grounding yourself. You may be, you know what I'm saying? You know, pursuing things that's going to, uh, something that's going to benefit your energy because you know you're very, very passionate here. And now this could also represent the person that's in love with you. Uh, this is what's going on in their personal life apart from you, but they are in love with you. But like, I feel like, I feel like your connection, I feel like your connection as a two of cups was just too much of a major interference with this person because this connection kind of kind of made this person a little unstable, a little rocky here. I feel like you, I feel like you dealing with you, Scorpio, made this person nervous because I feel like somebody, somebody feels like they don't want no surprise. I feel like somebody didn't want to fall for you, but I feel like they did anyway. Some of y'all dealing with a, a, a Aries, Scorpio. It could be that this facade that someone has always tried to hide behind is finally being exposed where they have to step outside their comfort zone because it could be somebody here that's, you know, don't want to take chances, but you got the Knight of Swords. I feel like they're going to do something. Remember, this is their energy. So the King of Pentacles in the reverse feels like you was, you was, you was in a good, 
you was not in a good distraction for them because I feel like somebody was focused on their money, but I feel like you were a distraction that they didn't want. So what's up with the person in love with Scorpios? Ten of Swords. King of Wands. So yeah, this person was a little cocky. A little self-absorbed. Page of Cups, but they think about you a lot. That's for sure. That's for doggone sure. They definitely think about you a lot. Now, what's up with this Queen of Pentacles? For the person in love with Scorpio, what's up with this Queen of Pentacles? In the upright, for the person that is in love with Scorpio, uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Queen of Pentacles, the star. For some of y'all, they may see you manifesting or somebody feels like Somebody could be saying, because after all, they're watching. They could be saying that you're healing or you're their wish fulfilled, see? Or your person wants to heal things between the two of you or your person is healing. Because they go to the King of Pentacles showing up again in the reverse. See, and they go to Five of Cups, see? So they have a lot of regret about y'all's relationship here. See, because something wasn't fair. They go to uh, justice in the reverse again. Some of y'all dealing with an Aquarius. What's going on with this Queen of Pentacles and the star card for the person that is in love with Scorpio? Why is this here? They say you ain't waiting for them no more. Three of Wands. Somebody say you're no longer waiting for them. It's what they, I feel like it's what they're viewing here. Somebody may see you moving on and living your life, Scorpio, is what I'm seeing. And now they're keeping tabs on you. Once again, somebody's in love because this is the person that is in love with you reading. Now, for some of y'all, what's the next card here? Five of Swords, the High Priest is here. For some of y'all, y'all holding back y'all emotions from this situation. For some of y'all, y'all healing. They go to Queen of Wands. I wonder this person could have more than one people unless you're the Empress. Because this is the reading for the person that's in love with you. How do they feel about you? So we know that they are uh, extremely attracted to you because you have the Page of Swords and the Ace of Wands and the King of Cups. So there's more, there's more than a physical attraction. It's an emotional attraction too, but some of y'all may not be emotional towards this person right now. See, they see you as holding back and they say you shut down the whole party and they don't they don't know how they feel about that. What's up with this three of cups in the reverse for the person in love with Scorpio spirit? Why is this here? Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. Somebody say you didn't shut the whole party down. That, <laughs> they say you busted in there and say y'all ain't got to go home, but y'all got to get the heck out of here. And they said they weren't ready to go. <laughs> See, <laughs> they say it ain't fun when Scorpio gets serious. But the reason why y'all shut it down was because y'all say, uh-uh, if mama ain't happy, nobody is happy. See there? See there? <laughs> oh, they say it just got real with Scorpio. They say, what happened? I ain't even see the lights come on. Yes, yeah, Scorpio say, uh, -uh I'm, t I'm tired of you draining me. If, if I'm not happy, then you ain't happy. So... This could be from their perspective here. See, everything that shut down, you ain't talking to them. No more pop-up visits. None of that. Feel like somebody wants to come back, though, Scorpios. That's for real. Why is the chariot here in the reverse? You could be dealing with a cancer. What's up with the chariot in the reverse for the person that's in love with Scorpio spirit? What's going on here? Somebody ain't able to move on. I know that. It's like, it's like all of their all of their benefits, see? They go to Lover's Car. It, all of their Scorpio VIP benefits. They, they <laughs> Six of Cups. All of their VIP passes have been revolt, okay? Or provoked. No, not provoked. <laughs> They've been canceled, okay? Somebody been somebody feels like they've been canceled, okay? That's what they feel, but they can't stop thinking about you though with their lovers and the six of cups. And there's the proof again. Look. So you know they can't move on, could be a cancer. 
You got the lovers and the six of cups with the page of swords with the ace of wands. So, yeah. Somebody's realizing that they wasn't given and that you tired of being used. See, Queen of Pentacles. Because it's almost like what you did and you you moving on or letting go is showing somebody what you desire. And obviously they was not giving it to you or not willing to. See, but like I say, some of y'all had to do that in order for this person to realize that you ain't playing no games. This is about real life. If you don't, if you ain't planning on stick around, if you ain't planning on nurturing and giving me what I need, what I deserve, then <laughs> ain't no need of me looking back then. It's just a waste of time here. Y'all moving on from this Scorpio, though. So y'all don't have to come for me because your ex keeps showing up. It always showed that you're moving on. <laughs> only way, only way you upset with me is because you're not moving on. And that ain't got nothing to do with me. All right. What's up with this Six of Pentacles in reverse? I feel like the Six of Pentacles is what you're letting this person know. You ain't got nothing to offer me. You expect for me to be, you expect for me to be your mama. See that? <laughs> You say you expect for me to be your mama, your woman, but, but, but what do I get? Tied. See that, Scorpio? They're thinking about all of that, see? And look, see? They're the ones having sleepless nights. That's why they're thinking so much. Now there's a need to stand up for themselves and take control over the situation here. This is what I feel like they want to do. Because they don't have control over their thoughts. You can see that now. With the page of swords, the ace of wands, the six of cups, the lovers. No, they don't have control. <laughs> they done lost control. That's what my cause it. Queen of Pentacles. Page of swords. Should I get the talking? Wow, them cards. Because you see, the like I say, <laughs> That is being the person that's in love with you. This is what they're going through. And like I said, you got the justice card in reverse that is showing up. So some of y'all may feel like somebody did you wrong, but please believe they're dealing with it. You know, it's unfortunate, but I feel like it's, it's needed for people to, to really go on and show you what's really going on in the relationship. So you choose yourself. Because, you know, sometimes people can do you so wrong that when you do find out who you really are and how bad they were doing you because you may have been in love, which I don't see the Queen of Cups, then I feel like that's going to help a lot of you guys move on and let something go because, so that you can have something new. But once again, if somebody trying to come back in the Emperor, it could very well mean that somebody here is uh, doing some type of work to make some type of change here. So let's continue. So now you have the King of Cups. Cancel Scorpio. Now, let me give him two more cards. I'm going to mix my cards up. So why is the chariot in reverse? I got the two cards I had because I laid my cards down. So, but I want four cards here. So you got the lovers and the six of cups. So they're definitely thinking about you. Oh, no. Wait a minute. No. Okay. Give me two more cards for this chariot in the reverse for the person in love with Scorpio. What's going on here? Seven of Pentacles. So someone here is playing the waiting game. I feel like all they're doing is watching you and thinking about you not sleeping good and trying to figure out how they can probably get back in your life, Scorpio. That's just what I see here. See, Knight of Pentacles here. I feel like they're not making a move, though, but I feel like they want to. And the reason why they're not making a move is because somebody see that you're clearly not investing into them anymore, Scorpios, and they see why they understand why. But the reason why there's so much pressure on this person is that now that you're not around, someone is realizing that they are in love. So what's up with this King of Cups for the person that is in love with Scorpio? Why is the King of Cups here? Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. What's up with this King of Cups? Just saw that night of soul. Like I feel like this person is racing all through their mind. They can't get no sleep because you the person on their mind. See, Ace of Swords. I feel like this is this person having a mental breakthrough now. Especially from an emotional perspective, because you got the King of Cups here. Somebody's finally seeing things for what it really, really is. Maybe it's that, that they're in love, because we're clearly found the King of Cups. Knight of Wands. 
What's up with this person in love with Scorpio with this King of Cups and the Ace of Swords? See there, somebody's finally seeing the truth that you bring a lot of happiness into their life, that you make them happy, Scorpio. That's what they're seeing. With this Ace of Swords and the Sun card and the King of Cups, yeah, they realize you make them happy. See, look at here, look at here, see. But you ain't but you ain't giving that cup now, though, Scorpio. You holding back now. You holding back and you moving on. That's what's going on now. <laughs> Because you got the emperor. The emperor is on that stable stuff. See? But what they miss is your love. So if they ever question your love because of their own insecurity, spirit is showing somebody that you was the real one and that there was a problem. See? Look at all this love that come with that queen of cups. Somebody wants some more of that, but they got the, but they messed around and lost it. Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. What's up with this Knight of Swords for the person that is in love with Scorpio? Why is this Knight of Swords trying to rush in? Are they mind racing? Is Scorpio living in somebody's mind rent free? Is Scorpio... <laughs> is Scorpio... <laughs> Did Scorpio put in a, a built-in pool in somebody's mind? I said, did Scorpio add a couple of more floors <laughs> to the mansion? Knight of Swords. See there, Scorpio. See? I say, you never, ever, ever miss your Scorpio water, honey, until all of your Scorpio water is absolutely dry. See? They, they over there scraping the cup. <laughs> Oh, you know it's bad when they scrape in the cup and it ain't nothing. It's dry because you took it all with you. You didn't leave none behind. Because <laughs> you was thinking, well, you don't want it. You, you're not acting like you want it. So let me just take this love with me. <laughs> try, my, try my luck somewhere else. So it's almost like they're saying, JK, JK, I'm just playing, just playing, just playing. <laughs> Oh, Scorpio, this is funny. All right, what's up with this Knight of Swords and the four, this unhappy person that's in love with Scorpio? This, this person that's really, really missing Scorpio, that's really, really in love. What's going on with this person with this Knight of Swords? See, I told you. <laughs> Judgment, see? I told you. It's almost like somebody is saying it was cheaper to keep her. Because <laughs> now they ain't got nothing. They don't have nothing of you but their memories. When they had the whole real person there with them, they didn't act like they wanted it, so you had no choice but to let it go, see? Knight of Swords, Four of Cups, Judgment, Knight of Swords. This person anxious now. But Spirit is trying to tell this person, calm down. See, this person, for some of y'all, this person feels like if they don't help and do something, they're going to miss out. Because now that they're really thinking about you, somebody's realizing that you's the next best thing that ever happened into their life. So why is the temperance here for the person that is in love with Scorpio? Could be a Sagittarius. What's up with this temperance, temperance card? Seven of Wands. It could be that this person always was guarded towards you until they guarded you right on out their life. See, all of this person's inner conflict is what ran you off. Because somebody probably was trying to dodge that cup just to want that cup. Ain't that something? See how that works? Somebody was trying to dodge that cup just to really, really need that. Just to can't sleep without that cup with that nine of swords energy. Yep. Watching you because they can't sleep. See? King of swords in the reverse. See? I knew it was some type of mental thing going on. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, somebody, somebody's not used to you, Scorpio, is what I feel like. I feel like you were, especially if it's a king of swords, now in the reverse, you you put this person in mind because I feel like they couldn't hang with the likes of you. It, it's almost like you met somebody who already had issues and they done messed around and fell in love and this is totally not like them, totally out of their comfort zone. They cannot escape it, but they don't want to face it. And I feel like somebody is about to face this, Scorpio, because at the end of the day, this person is in love and they stalking you too. They obsessed over you, honey. So if this video resonates, please like, share and subscribe.